we know every dollar matters at the grocery store, and I'll dive into eggs in a moment, but for seven of the past 10 years, Americans were used to simply not dealing with inflation at the grocery store. Prices up only 7% in those years from 2014 to 2021, but then the COVID-19 years happened and inflation went into overdrive. Food at home prices are now 30% higher than they were in 2014, which is why grocery store prices are at the top of everyone's mind. We looked at some current grocery store price trends so you can help set that weekly list. So here's what's costing more. Beef is up the most prices, over 50% for most cuts. Other items with a price spike include frozen juices, butter and margarine, baby food, and now egg prices, which are typically not volatile, but they were last year. And even though they are about even with the food at home inflation today, that could all change because of the avian flu uh, outbreak. So not everything is up. Here are the food items with prices that have barely changed in the last decade. Apples, bananas, instant coffee, believe it or not, uh, fresh whole milk and rice. Prices barely changing. So going a little deeper, I asked the research bot perplexity for a week's worth of groceries for a family of three with a typical stocked pantry. Things like eggs, milk, chicken, fruits and vegetables. Ten years ago, that basket would have cost you about $60. The most recent average price data we have, though, has that up $17 to $77.41. Annually, that's a change of over $900. But that's just a list of essentials. It's the small comforts that really keep us going sometimes. A nice dinner on the weekend, a bottle of wine, maybe some dessert items. Adding these will set you back almost $150 a week in 2024, a $36 increase. Annually, though, your food budget is now up almost 2000 compared to what it would have been 10 years ago. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.